So we're enjoying the rain here at Beacons Festival and uh, we've managed to get some time with some of the guys from Eagles. I've got George and Henry with us as well. Guys, welcome first of all back to Amazing Radio. Uh, what so far um, has been your highlight of Beacons? Henry, you go. Uh, hookworms last night were very good. Right, so uh, you have done some production with Hookworms. We had MJ yesterday, we were having a chat to him, stuff, doing really good stuff for you. Uh, kind of a big fan of you as well. What is it you love about Hookworms yourself? What do you like? About Hookworms, sorry. Uh, they're just very intense especially live it's really like you can really really feel it um, especially last night with the, like the atmosphere that they create they don't stop from start to finish from like all the songs just flow really nicely it just builds up and it's you can just feel it it's really good really good and then in terms of yourself George what is it that you're loving kind of new artist wise who are your favorite people and the ones that you find are like up and coming at the moment up and coming at the minute I don't know like I, I heard Sleaford mods like quite a while back like before um, they, they was pushed into the world of festivals and all that I think they're great like talking about real stuff and they're close to home as well yeah we live like we grew up close to Nottingham and it's quite close so it's, it's good and in terms of you know where you grow up and the, the music scene and stuff there how much of an impact has that had on you in your adult life now do you think um, where we grew up, like there's, well, oh, there isn't really a scene or anything going on there. Like we just sort of moved, moved to Leeds and things like that, and we just did what we was doing anyway. Like I don't know whether a scene really impacted me. It's more to do with what I grew up listening to, to be honest. Like, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe on others it impacted them, or I don't know. Did it you? I don't know. So you're heading on tour and stuff as well. What can you tell us about the uh, the tour then, Henry? Uh, it's in October. Um, we're going to be taking a band, another band from Leeds called Autobahn, on most of the most of the gigs with us. Um, but it's going to be like our first proper ever headline tour. Like so, I don't know. It's just going to be good, I guess. We've got playing a lot of places we've never even been before as well. Um, so we're all going to be new, playing to a lot of new people, which we always like to do. So it's going to be good. So how much time have you got between then and now to actually start working on new material? Are you just doing existing stuff off the album or are you going to be creating some stuff in advance of it? We've just literally just started writing uh, for the second album. We want to do like, uh, time permitting, we want to get another single out or something, another seven inch out before we go out in October. So we might hopefully slot like a new, new few, like couple new songs in. That's, that's the plan anyway. We want to anyway, so... Well, now you have one album under your belt. What's changed in the way that you're producing stuff, the way that you're creating things and working together as a team, George? Um, I don't know if things will, things will change, obviously, but, like, we've learned a lot. Like, obviously, when you're, when you're playing the same songs on tour, you think of what you should have done and you think, like, why have I done that? Like, I constantly think about lyrics and, like, why did I say that? Or, I should have said this, or... We should, he should have done that, should have done this. Yeah. It's constantly playing on your mind like a ticking bomb. <laughs> but, yeah, so it'll all come out in the end, hopefully. Yeah. So whenever you, uh, now that you have a, like a busier lifestyle, you're very on the road, you are kind of always looking to create new content. Do you find that you now live a lifestyle where it actually feeds you more or does it actually hold you back a bit on coming up with lyrics and piecing things together? I don't know, like... Lyrics wise, it, it, it just depends like what uh, with uh, music and stuff like that. So, cheers. Um, yeah, it depends on the music. It's like when, because as a band, like when we write, we write music first right. and then the lyrics come afterwards. Yeah. So, it's, it's very much to do with what we write as music, like with lyrics. But I've always got something in my mind and I'm always thinking of stuff. That's why. I, have, I blame my bad memory on thinking of stuff <laughs> because I'm constantly thinking of like weird things all the time. You're an insomniac. I wouldn't say insomniac, <laughs> something else, I don't know. Maybe there isn't a word for it yet. Great, okay. Well, you've done really well on the Amazing Chart, so uh, you've been through the Amazing Chart with a range of different tracks. Possessed did so well, Nerve Endings did really well, and that's based on people actually clicking on the site, so it's not necessarily people buying stuff, it's press and play, adding it to playlists, sharing it with their friends, and so it's had a really positive impact for the way that you've gone through. What sort of messages have you got to people that have actively gone and chosen to stream your music like, on that site then, Henry? It's good. Um, I mean, we, we've always sort of maintained that we'd like to, you know, we, we don't care who listens to our music or, 
you know, how many people we play to, but it's, it's actively going and finding our music, then that's that's exactly what we want. Like, it's, it's good, it's positive. A lot of people nowadays won't go out and buy a record. Like, it's just, it's almost alien to some people to just be like, oh, well, I'll go and buy the record. It's yeah. like, that's old fashioned, <laughs> isn't it, really? Yeah, I it mean, is though. But things like that mean, in a way, it means a lot more. Like that, people have actually gone to source it on the internet to go and like play. Yeah. Because they've either been told about it from friends or they want to hear it themselves. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there's a way of. I don't know. It's just the new age. <laughs> the new age. Do you still like physical copies of things? Because I love having, even if I get stuff online and I stream stuff online, I still love to have something tangible at the end of it for a collection. Do you still work like that or do you actually live in a digital age yourselves? I, I've sort of fallen into that whole Spotify era. <laughs> I, mean, I use it a lot, but if I really, really, really like an album, I'll, I'll go buy it. But usually, because we're away so much, it's usually like if a band that I see live, that see we're playing on the same bill as or like a festival. And if I watch them and they like really blow me, then I go, I'll go buy it physical. Yeah. We sort of fall in a in a funny part where it's like because you're in a band, you're at gigs all the time and stuff like that. It's yeah. like you almost feel like you're cheating everyone because you're, you're <laughs> into so much music and you should be buying and yeah. should be doing that. But it's just like just by the end of it, you're just like. I'm sure I've seen them about five times live. I don't need to buy an album or whatever. So, I don't okay. know. So you guys tonight then, how much noise can we actually expect? What are you going to do for the crowd? What is the What are you trying to achieve here tonight? Uh, we'll just do what we always do. We'll just do our own thing. And then nothing, nothing special. Um, we, we was thinking about doing some of the bits and bobs, but I think just turn up, play, do our thing, basically, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking some time to chat to us and uh, good luck tonight. I can imagine it's going to be off the hook and we'll catch you on tour as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.